That's good. That's nice to ride. Hey friends, I'm starting inside today. It's windy out there, but I'm excited. A friend's coming to the farm to help trim up some of the horses and maybe put shoes on Dutch's. And that same friend said he had a couple horses that he uh, didn't want to feed through the winter because hay prices are so high and he asked if I'd be interested in getting them and and uh, they look beautiful so we're gonna get them and try to find them some new homes. Blake saw the picture but he's at practice the picture of the two horses and he wants to buy one of them. So it's getting really windy this time of year we'll have a real windy day and then it brings in some cool weather normally some and it's pretty cool out here so uh, I'm gonna tie up Duchess and have her ready so when Ray gets here he can trim her and put some shoes on her. Well Ray has arrived with the horses. Which one do you think Blake will choose? Well, I'm excited. Two buckskins. So super excited about these. That's a really unique, it's almost like a Appaloosa buckskin or something like that. Oh, he's beautiful. A little, a little more wild than the other one, huh? He's all right? Yeah, he's all right. Cool. Well, man, they're beautiful. Which one do you think Blake will pick? This one's two and the other one's one, so. Awesome, well, I have a couple horses for you to trim and shoe, so, or at least one to shoe. So now that we have those horses unloaded, Ray's gonna trim up Duchess here. She actually has shoes on still, but they're getting real long. Her feet are, so he's gonna take the shoes off and trim her up, and we're gonna put shoes back on her front end. A lot of horses are fine just on the front end, and so we're gonna try that and see how she does. Does that happen a lot? Yeah. So good to have Emma and Ray here. And uh, Duchess looks like a new girl with her pedicure. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, now Rawhide's getting a trim. Well, it was great having Ray and Emma here. And now I'm gonna put away Rawhide. And let me show you who else came to the farm the other day.
So I was so excited when Moses reached out and said, hey, you've got a gated horse at your place. Let me help you out. And I said, I'd be happy to have you help us out. Most of you have been watching Stormy as Blake's been working with her and Jocelyn and I, and anyway, she's doing awesome at calming down. And we are taking it slow and easy, but today we're gonna see a few tricks. Not tricks, but I don't know. Uh, how would you describe what you're gonna show us for a little bit? Just, just the nuances of of different types of horses. Okay. There's just there's just nuances, and when you deal with enough of them, and my background's in gated horses, so when you deal with enough of them, you just kind of know their mindsets, and some of the things that I can just watch a horse and go, that's the category I would put it in, and then as you work with it, you can kind of develop where you think they're at and what will work for them but we'll see what works and what don't work sounds great so go check out high desert homestead and subscribe to moses and polly's channel this is polly his wife Hello. and uh, Hi, so good to have him back here on the farm with us disengaging the hindquarters works whether you're going forward or reverse so if she's backing up you want to take and get that hindquarters to disengage and get her to to move around. So everything I'm doing is constructive, uh, where it gets her to think. I break it up. Uh, Obstacles, whatever it is you can throw in there to break it up. Uh, getting her to back up. So if I ask her to go forward a lot, again, thinking about balance, I'm going to back up more. I'm going to disengage more. So the amount of time I spend just pushing her around, I'm gonna do twice as much other stuff. And with these type horses, don't be afraid to push. Like if, if you come in here and she's spooky about something, don't be afraid to push on it. Don't be afraid to just go in there because their initial response, it's kind of like a, a little kid who gets scared and then it escalates but if you go right into it and just get a hold of them and just do it they go oh that wasn't so bad so I just come in here and just rub on her and say you're gonna have to deal with me honey she's a sweetheart she's she's come around so quickly and she's so kind she's super nice she's built and you said you like the gate you saw as she... oh yeah she's got She's got a really nice flat walk. You can ride that all day long. Oh yeah. Not no trot to it. Well, look, some people thought she was she was uh, kind of lame on one foot. Yeah. <laughs> That's because she's gated. <laughs> they did. They, they, yeah. they thought she ought to be trotting when she was just gating. So as somebody who don't know gated horses, you go, she's off. No, yeah. she's not off. She, that's just how she walks. When you're, when you're wanting a horse to go forward, Blake, take and give them a direction here. Open up your body. That gives her all that weight and come in here to the head, neck, and shoulder. Yield that shoulder. Then go. Okay. Don't chase the hind quarters. Okay. It'll make you work harder than they do. So I come in here and my body is telling her go that way. And I'll just push that shoulder that way. See, she knows how to go forward. Yeah. So if you're just working on forward, let's get constructive about it. Let's do a shoulder yield. I'd rather her do that than just go, you see? Yeah. See how it broke down? Yeah. I'd rather her just yield that shoulder. I didn't ask for a go. I just want you to yield that shoulder. Good girl. She's got a good head on her. Oh, she's got a really good mind on her. She's awesome. Then I can open up here and push her forward. Yeah. So then forward motion becomes on cue. 
it becomes constructive. It's just not just going around circles. That's what you got to be get good at is noticing the nuances of the horse. What are they doing? How are they pre-positioning themselves? Once you learn that, super easy to train horses. Takes a long time because they got little bitty things that they do and you go, I've seen that before. When you start checking it off, then you just naturally get into a, you naturally get into a rhythm. When you see it, you can counterbalance it. You're always bringing the horse back into balance with you. All about balance. So. I've had horses so bad I was rehabbing that I had to, I had to take and let them go when I was riding them just so they would feel comfortable. They were so uncomfortable standing still and so uncomfortable just being still that I had to, their release was go. So I'd go work them and then I'd come back and they might sit still for three seconds. That's how bad these horses can get, these gated horses, because they've been pushed their whole life. And then they sit there pretty soon, they're, they're chomping up the bit. Some of them will stand there and rear in place because they want to go. So I'll make them stand there as long as they will before they blow up. I say, okay, now you can go. So their release was going because that, that's what they thought. They've been taught so hard to go they thought that's that's the only way they could be comfortable. Good visit, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Do you need help with anything? Just holler at me. Yes, sir, you have a good one. She don't like me being back here. But pretty soon she's okay with me. I want her to where I can just any anything she don't like i'll do more of that than i will run around circles i can get control of her a horse that's real goy or real hot the more i can get control of them the better i i would rather have a horse taken you you see horses react when a horse reacts it's it's fast and not controlled okay when they're thinking the action is there but it's a lot smoother. It's more like a dance. The 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 uh, transition from my initiation to their movement is graceful. Whereas a reactive horse is like, oh my god, and they go. Yeah, you got it to move over, but was it controlled? Did it look fluid? That's when you know you're getting real control of a horse. I, I, I don't get excited when a horse does something crazy. I don't care. As long as they're not in a situation, as long as I don't put them in a situation where they're going to get hurt. I like to do this on the side of a barn, like a wood. Best invention I ever seen was on a Peruvian uh, Paso farm. And it was just an oak wood wall and had tie rings in it. Oh, cool. And they, instead of a hitching rail, and it wasn't part of the barn. They just put some pipe in the ground, put some runners on it, put the put the oak on there, had their tie rings on there, and the horse couldn't get hung up. They couldn't hurt themselves. They tie colts up there, and they just had to learn to be there. There wasn't no getting tangled up or anything like that. And they learned to pretty much put up with anything. Uh, she's finally giving in. Just sitting there. I like a horse, when I go to the other side, they go, what is that? And they just seen it on the other side. That makes them a whole lot easier to train. Wow. Another thing with these horses, whatever their last thought was, if you're gonna quit, reverse that thought. If they were gonna back up, move them forward. If they were going away from you, right, move them left. End on your terms. Cancel that thought. That's the best advice I can give anybody. That's good advice. A lot of times if a horse is really tense, and I, I think I explained this before, their their saliva glands quit working. Yeah. And when you can get those gastric juices flowing again, it's just a better place for them, mentally. And there's a lot of people out there that go, oh, that's hooey, huh? I've been using it for years, and it works. Okay. If I can get a horse to end right here, the last thing they think about me is good. Regardless of what happened, 
in the middle. What the last thought she has about me is good. That's awesome. Hey, we are so grateful to Moses and Polly for stopping by from High Desert Homestead. So go subscribe to their channel. But I ho hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit and watching us work with Stormy. And uh, it's it's awesome to have someone with some expertise in gated horses. Um, I don't know anything about gated horses, but we're sure having fun with Stormy. So thanks again for coming. <laughs> okay, so you said this this mare you could get to do anything, and, and why did you say that? Uh, this is this is my test right here, and she may not be as willing this time to do it, but I take and put a little bit of pressure on them and see how willing they are to just give right here. I'm not asking her very much. I'm not asking her hard. Hey, look, she bowed for today's performance. <laughs> that's and pretty that awesome. A, that's a, that was the second time she'd done it. The time before was 30 seconds oh, yeah. before, so. That's good. That's, cool. that's nice to ride.